In recent weeks, some areas in and out of Accra have experienced power outages. We're here to speak with the general public from different areas about how this is affecting and impacting their day-to-day -day activities. My name is Melissa Rawad. This is News Connect for City TV. Stay tuned. You know, it's basically um, something we've all experienced. I've been calling my friends. Anytime it goes off, I'll just call. Charlie, do you have light? Have you got light? And it's like, it goes all the way to Tema. Everyone is like, Charlie, I don't get light to that kind of thing. It's becoming something like a phrase now. Charlie, same here. When you call Charlie, be there light matter. No light. So basically, that is it. It's been terrible. It's been terrible. I had to sleep in it. From like, it came around 2 a.m., 2, 3 a.m. It just kept fluctuating and, you know, if you don't put off your gadgets, so I had to put everything off. Just to at least preserve some of my equip equipment, you know, my laptops, etc., charging on my phones, I had to just put everything off. It comes on around 2 a.m., 2, 3 a.m., what can you do? You just basically have to just take it like that. More than affected. Because it's like, um, no hour passes without the lights going off and coming on. And the unfortunate thing now is, they don't just go off. They, they, they actually flick like the traffigator for a time before it goes out. And for, for, there are times we've slept in the dark till morning. So for us, some of us think doom do so is back and uh, the earlier we do something about it, the better. So the PDS, Power Distribution Services, they have now taken over from ECG, hoping to cut down on waste and things of that nature, um, circulating in the system as far as power supply is concerned. Um, do you think that, no, should I say, do you believe that they can do a better job than our previous um, electric providers, electricity providers, sorry. From what we are seeing now, I think we'd have to go back to ECG. Because the, 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 the devil you know is better than the agent they don't know. So we'd have to go back to ECG. PDS, I don't think has anything better for us. In a week, you, you should talk about days because every day it goes off. Every day. Every day. Because sometimes two hours, sometimes an hour in a day. Like daytime in the evening and stuff here. Yeah. How has it affected um, your day to day? Maybe at work through your business, do you own your own business? Yeah. Please talk to us about how it's been affecting, if it has. Because when the light goes off, you can't do anything in the office. So definitely you have to shut down, close the office, and go home. And uh, really, like other people have said, sometimes by the time you even get home, it's off as well. You understand? But what I'm, what I'm even hearing, is that sometimes when these things are beginning to happen, it means that those who are selling generators have gone to connect with the ECG. They pay some money to ECG in order to, for them to be doing this so that they can sell their generators out. If that is exactly what they want to do, they should let the public know. That's the, is that's that a rumor? Is it? That's, that's a, a rumor? rumor. Yeah, that's what we've heard. So if that's exactly what they want to do, they should let us know so that we know what to do because uh, unannounced light-offs and all those things are really affecting us, yeah. And the, the annoying aspect is that sometimes it comes, 10 minutes it goes off, 5 minutes it goes off and all those kind of things. And so you don't really know whether in a day you have a light off maybe at this particular time for you to prepare. But sometimes you'll be there and it will just go off. You don't know when it's coming as well. Nobody has told you whether there's a problem or not. Yeah. So let me ask, when the, um, the light goes off, the electricity goes off, does it affect your water supply at all? Yeah, because where I live in is a story building. I need a, a machine to pump, so it has to pump into the house before we can use. So, yeah. So electricity. That's why I'm saying that if the light is off, it means that we will not be able to uh, use our water when you are upstairs because you can the water cannot flow up. So it affects the water supply as well. When you talk of main supply to the house, for now no. You understand? From the pump, from the house itself. Yes, Ali. Yes, Ali. So, main supply to the house for now, no. Because I believe that water companies have their standby generators that they are using or their plants that they are using to power the water supply. So, for now, it's not affecting our water supply for now. We've had a series of light outs. Yeah, at least once a week or twice. Sometimes in the morning, you'll be there, it goes off. Then in the afternoon, it comes. In the evening, it goes off. So, it is not like systematic it's on and off you can't just indicate that oh this day to go off this but it's on and off let me make it that way do you think it's too early to ask the question is doom so back 
or do you think that they can, despite the challenges right now, they can do a adequate or even better job than ECG? You see, the issue of we saying whether it's too early or not is two-sided. The first one has to do with the fact that before they came in, they knew of the situation. They came in to solve a problem. Are you getting me? So we expected, or we are expecting that before they took over, all these things should have been made known to them. So when they came and they are also giving us technical they will tell you it's technical problem, technical problem. Don't they have the technical know-how to solve the technical problem? Are you getting me? It's a technical problem. It's a technical. Don't they have? We thought they have the technical know-how to come and solve the challenges we have. So if they also come and repeat that same jargons that we are aware of already, so why have they come? That's one side of the issue. The other side of it is that yes, one may say that they have just taken over. So let's give them to the uh, space to assess the situation. But if it is that that they want to assess the situation, we Ghanaians we are telling them that we don't have time for them to take too long a time to assess the situation. They should assess the situation as early as possible because students are learning, businesses are using lights and what have you. So if you take them a longer period to, to, to assess it, it will go against. And at the end of the day, I'm saying this to the government. I'm saying this to the government. What elders say the stick that we use to cane Kofi, we may use the same stick to cane Kwame. We all abhor Dumso. Everybody, every Ghanaian abhors Dumso. So by the hear by the to hear of it, it goes to the government. So if they want us to use the same stick to kick them or in order to, 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 to hit them with the same stake, then they should allow the situation to continue. But if they want to be responsible, as we Ghanaians want them to be, then they should not allow this to persist. The situation must be reversed with immediate effect. Students are calling. Workers are calling. Everybody is calling on the government and the PDS to make sure that the problem is solved within the shortest possible time. The way they've taken off and things are happening like this, what would you say? Um, there's a, a balance in tree, something we say like agro if it ain't. I don't know if you get that one. agro if you an agro one or something like that. All right. It just translates that when something is going to get well or something is going to be good, you could tell from the onset. Okay. I'm not going to be judgmental here, but then we could all see what is happening. So at least I think they should be just honest to tell us what actually is going on. All right. They should just tell us the truth. Are we going back? Is there a load shedding thing? Are our gadgets that, you know, giving us lights? Are there serious problems with them? So at least they should just tell us the truth. That is all we want to know. Okay. As a new company coming up and they are having issues like this, man, before they, they taking over, I think we're a bit okay. We were cool. Doomso was a thing that we've all like kind of relegated back. But now it seems it surfaced again. And I don't know what government is doing about it to tell us. Yes, they should just be economical with it to tell us. This is what is actually happening. We'll know it, and we'll know that probably there's light at the end of the tunnel. That we know that fine, we are having difficulties now. Some of gadgets are obsolete. This is what we are doing about it. So you are going to experience some shortfalls here and there. If it happens like that, oh, okay, so I'm going to have outages for maybe for like six hours a day, seven hours a day, be it weekly. Be, I mean, they should just let us know. That's it for another episode of News Connect. My name is Melissa Awad. This is City TV. Stay tuned. Uh.